In this video, I'm going to answer chapter 31, number four, and I'm actually going to use the exact same framework I already had on my, um, I forget what this board is called, light board, um, th that I actually just used to record the explanation of chapter 31. I, I still had this up here, and I thought, well, it would be nice to use the exact same one, because then it can be shown how this, I think it can be shown how this question is related to the, directly to what we just, or what I just did uh, in the book. And it's of course still there in the video, so you can see this as just a numerical example of, of what I did to explain this framework. I hope that makes sense, hopefully it's helpful. That wasn't just me being lazy, although it was convenient Drawing this isn't too hard, though, really. Here we go. 13.4. Consider the diagram below, which displays the marginal cost and marginal benefit of water pollution abatement in a particular city, and answer the following questions. What is the optimal percentage degree of water cleanliness? Well, water cleanliness is along the horizontal axis down here, and these are all percentages. And so our choices are 100. 98, 85, or 65. And I imagine that it would be a fairly easy guess to say 65, because that's where we have an equilibrium. Uh, but that's not really the reason why. The reason why is because if we continue to move out from 65 to the next piece of information we have, say 85, the marginal benefit of getting to 85 would be well lower than the corresponding marginal cost of doing it. Getting there would cost more than it would benefit to do so. So that's why we wouldn't go there. We would stop in our level of cleanliness at 65%. Then letter B. When the optimal percentage degree of water cleanliness has been attained, what cost will be incurred for the last unit of water cleanup? Uh, it's also the value of the last uh, benefit, uh, unit of benefit of water cleanup too and that would be this $10, uh, because that is where marginal cost is equals marginal benefit, and that's where they would stop, is where doing that benefit them just what it costs them to do it in that uh, measure, because that's where they're equal, is $10. So those, those are the answers to the question, and a little touch about why, and um, because I use the same framework, if you're really feeling lost, you can go back and look at the video um, where I explained this, and I, I actually used the same drawing when I explained it, so I explained how those lines got onto this board in the first place in that video, those exact lines. So hopefully overall this helps you feel pretty good about being able to answer this question. 